Okay, so this is my second engineering report, my NTC thermistor part two. Uh, we're building upon last week's video, so my link is here. If you want to get caught up, click this, watch the video, you'll be good, and then start watching this one. We're building upon the Arduino from last week, because last week we got it to display the temperature in the serial monitor, and this week we're using processing to display a visual graph. So it's very cool. Uh, the purpose is to start applying using processing in our class. It's a really cool program. It looks really pro and it's very, very useful. It also enhances our Arduino knowledge for our using both programs together. And it's, you're going to see us use it a lot for uh, throughout the year. The method that we did was we used the Arduino sketch to convert the raw data to Kelvin and then Kelvin to Celsius. Uh, this code is on my blog that I posted in my last video. However, there's a change, so I'll post it in my new blog post. The main change is that we added byte here, and uh, that's just for processing. So this should work if you verify it and upload it. It should be fine. It compiles with no errors, and you upload it, and it's perfectly good. Okay, so let me go over the processing side. This is, uh, it's not 100% our work, actually it's only about, you know, 5% of our work. We uh, got it off this person's blog here. Uh, I can't link blogs, so just, you know, pause it, type in the URL, or better yet, go to my blog, and I have linked it on that page. Uh, the main thing here is it is taking the Arduino serial data and putting it into a graph. So I'll just walk you through everything. These fonts, when you first import this, uh, these fonts are going to have an error because you haven't imported them yet. You go to Tools, Create a Font. You want Verdana 12 because that's the first font here. So you say that, you press OK, and it'll create the font. Error goes away. You do the exact same thing for 24. You say, OK, create the font, error is gone. The second error is the string port name here. So you type in string port name equals serial dot list, open bracket, close bracket, open square bracket, zero, close, close square bracket, semicolon. And that is just letting processing know that it is looking for analog pin zero for the reading from your thermistor to the Arduino. So when we run this, we should get a graph and a little bar on the side that goes from blue to red, which that is what we're getting, so it's good. When we look over here, uh, this for loop changes all these slots here uh, to zero, and then this draw creates that gray background. This rectangle is making this here that fades from blue to red as it gets warmer and this is creating the graph and this is the values the pointer cnf so when i post this code you guys can look through it you'll understand what's going on uh, i'll also link a very 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 helpful book that we're using in class you can order it off amazon or i'm sure if you look hard enough you can find a pdf online that you can just download uh, as you can see, the values are changing because in my Arduino code, I have it for the delay to be uh, 0.1 seconds. So it should be changing pretty constantly. Uh, if I were to put my finger on it, it's pretty solid. You know, changes between 24, 25, and uh, my room is about 23 degrees. If I were to uh, breathe on it, it obviously gets hotter because my breath is warmer. So it works. It's great. That's what processing does. It's really good. Uh, make sure to check out my blog because that has all the stuff you need. And uh, the fritzing diagram is the same as before because we didn't change anything to do with the hardware. If you look at it, you can see thermistor, uh, potentiometer, power, ground, analog lead, connective wire, which is exactly what is on here. Uh, 
I explained fritzing in my last video, so you probably know what it's about. I said that we didn't fiddle around with the schematic too much. We didn't do any more work with it. But it's basically showing the same thing. It's just analog pin zero to the potentiometer, to the thermistor, to power. It's just a different way of looking at it. I did export this picture and put it on my blog. Uh, so you can click that, you can see the picture. Uh, if you want to see my parts list, it's here. This is my parts list that we used. I exported this from Fritzing. If you want to know how to do that, go to File, Export. I exported the image a few seconds ago, and then you can export a build of materials. So that is very good. Uh, my blog looks like this in the description. Try to open a new tab. I'm going to go to my ER. So this is my latest post. I'm talking about what we did in class uh, using processing, starting to use processing. This is what we were trying to achieve, which is what I showed you when I ran my processing program. Uh, this is very helpful. And also, my uh, all my links work now because I started a web publishing. This is my old NTC thermistor sketch for Arduino. If you were to go to anywhere here, these work. Click this, you get this parts list. And my picture, my fritzing picture, it's not a link, you have, just have to copy and paste it. And you'll get my fritzing setup, which is this. Um, I hope this helps you guys. So make sure to check out my blog because it's I I feel it's really helpful if you guys want to start doing this stuff with Arduino and processing. Uh, the link is in the description or right here. So click this again if you want to go to my blog or type it in the URL because you can't click it because YouTube doesn't like it. And uh, make sure to check out all the other links like other people's blogs where we got the processing code from and the my Arduino code and useful tips and books and everything that we're doing in class so it's great uh, thank you guys for watching there will be another video next or this coming Sunday and uh, just check my blog daily for helpful things in class I post it if we learn something new I'll post it on my blog if it's something that I think you guys would like to know I'll post it too so uh, stay tuned for the next week. It'll be better, it'll be more advanced, it'll be sweet. And in two weeks, you'll see my monthly project, which is something to look forward to because I'm, I'm really liking it. So uh, see you guys next week.